<laughs> How's it going, bros? My name's PewDiePie, and welcome to Obscurity. I bet you weren't expecting this, were you? I know a lot of you bros are a little sad that I don't play as much as Amnesia as I used to. And the reason for that is just because I already played so much fucking Amnesia. But this castle story looked really good. It They promise a chilling atmosphere. That's good. Frightening horror. Oh, I like that. Complex and deep storyline. I like that too. Richly detailed environments and lightings. Love it. Co quality co voice acting. Love it. Custom monsters. I'm there. I'm there. Let's go. And as always in Amnesia, when it loads, <laughs> that means you and I get to connect. I love that. This is like our special time that uh, we share together. Instead of just me talking to myself all the time, because that's not what I'm doing right now. I'm talking to you. Whatever your name is. What's that? Okay, fine. Well, I'm gonna play now if you don't mind. Jace, always blabbing about. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. Let's just do this. It always starts with me waking up in the middle of the woods. It does always start with that. <laughs> Every custom story ever, except you wake up in like a. The house or whatever. And it always continues. We're looking for the lantern. But it always feels strangely real. Huh. I'm disoriented and confused. My head hurts. Ah, interesting. I like the voice acting so far. Quite quite nice. Sounds like a better microphone than I have. Or at least As space. I stumble through the foliage, feelings of familiarity rush back to me. So we have been here before. Been here before. Danius Pit strikes already! Bet you weren't expecting that. Alright. Cool. There's a house over there. However, something is wrong. I'm not alone. Oh. That is creepy, man. That is creepy, man. Bro, don't you dare. Something is stalking me. Oh. Shadows. Okay. So far, so good. This is actually really fucking creepy. Let's hurry up to the house! I'm running! I clicked the distance, I shift too many times. <laughs> My house. Ah. Usually, I'm not able to reach the front door. However, tonight was different. I sure fucking hope so! Run! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Jennifer, you look wonderful today. Okay. Almost there now. I don't even want to know what happens if we don't reach the front door. Just want to go here. Oh, thank heavens. Uh. I grabbed the doorknob and twisted. Locked. Shit! Plan B, everyone. Plan B. Scream like a little girl. <laughs> As my vision fades, I hear a whisper. <laughs> Come to Crescent Village. <laughs> That's so ironic. <laughs> oh man, what a fucking intro. <laughs> oh man. Uh, fucking piece of dicks. My mouse is just go. Wait, let me pause. There we go. I clicked shift too many times and it was just fucking me over. Oh, that's hilarious. Electric Red presents. What do you present to us? Obscurity. Very, very interesting so far. Very interesting. I'm terribly sorry about all these. I hope I can fix this while editing. There we go. Crescent Village disappearances continues. There, I correct there, Grabber. Uh, the recent string of disappearances in the small mining community of Crescent Village have continued this week with at least four missing persons reported. Locals suggest that the mines are to blame and that the dangerous... Come on! Oh well, at least you can pause or whatever. That kind of sucks, I wanted to know. Just yesterday afternoon, a body turned up in the forest around Crescent Village. Police have yet to identify the victim, but it seems to be a child. The body was found mangled and almost unrecognizable, and there is no clear cause of death. 
Analysts suggest that it must have been the work of a large animal, but the locals are not convinced. It reminds me a lot of uh, Silent Hill so far. The whole come to Crescent Village or whatever. Um, but that's okay. I mean, everyone fucking rips off Silent Hill, so... Uh, the suspect in the following continuation of this very aggressive village, including the police officer, police have officially ceased the investigation until further notice due to lack of leads of evidence. They came to the conclusion that the conditions in Crescent Village are not simply not are simply not inhabitable. They suspect the mines are at fault and that they are simply too dangerous to be in the operation. Officials now shut down the mines and urge Crescent Village inhabitants to somewhere else. Unfortunately, most of them know where to remain. Police have been ah oh, fuck. Sorry about that. Ain't nothing pits can do about it. Where am I? Oh, I'm in a, I'm in a horse ride. My ears, haunting me in my dreams. It was a small but peaceful little town. All right. I grew up there with my parents and my sister. I don't remember much. One day, my sister died, and I was sent away to London to live with my aunt and uncle. Since then, I've never had any contact with my family. I wrote letters at first, but they never responded. Bastards! After numerous attempts to hear from my parents again, I gave up. I thought they had forgotten about me. All right. Eventually, the memories of my childhood slipped away. I became a successful lawyer, working in a small law firm. I never looked back. Why should he view? But now my past is haunting me. No oh, no. These nightmares I'm having are remnants of my childhood. Oh. That's why I'm traveling to Crescent Village. Something happened there that I don't remember. And I need to confront it. Alright. Well, the story hasn't been done before, but it's still interesting. Something feels wrong about it. All my instincts are telling me to stay away from there. But yet you are going there. No. I must rid myself of these awful nightmares. Okay. You do that. I... Need this. Well, that and I'll be damned. I'll be damned, man. Love the horse ride thing. <laughs> I wish, I wish there. Me and uh, Ken was actually talking about something yesterday. That I thought was kind of funny that there are literally no naked women in Amnesia. <laughs> it's only naked, naked men. Only. It's it's kind of weird, isn't it? I I I hope I hope Amnesia, the machine for pigs, will have some titties in it. Crescent Village ahead. Um Well here we are It's kinda creepy already honestly But I like that you have the lantern I'm so fucking sick of finding that thing It's like oh I find the lantern Oh yay I don't know why they make us keep finding it I feel quite contempt having it right here <laughs> Oh yeah blood Okay we're going we're going No light That was probably someone being really hungry And the bad part is they probably won't eat me Fuck don't worry, pets. Got my lantern. Everything is quite in order. Quite in order. Where is this village anyway? Jeez, what a fucking entrance. Ha! <laughs> I don't even know. So it's loving again. So tell me about the thing you were telling me about before. You weren't saying anything. Well, tell me. I'd oh, sorry. Sorry. Jeez. Whoa. Blood. Fuck. What happened here? And why does the village Whoa. seem so empty? I, I need to go find some help. I'm pretty much stranded here. Um, let's follow the period. As usual. <laughs> Fuck. Requires a key. Key my ass. Literally do it. Do it please someone. Well. Oh, hello lady. Let me take a bath. It's been a long journey. I would need it. Um, hmm. It would appear all the fucking doors are locked. What about this one? Oh shit, don't tell me we're going to the mines right away. I don't need to go to the graveyard right now. What is this? Do not enter. <laughs> you can't stop me. Bad pills. I picked that ladder piece, three out of three. Interesting, what does this say? Choose the elevator, obtain all three fuel rods, place them in the proper positions. When all units are in place, pull the lever, only authorized personnel. Okay, let's find those. I said nickel before, in case you were worried. It's, it's just a word. I'm not a racist. I, I love all people. I love dinosaurs. I love 
Uh, cats. I love Asian cats. I love. I actually don't like cats that much. Wow. I guess I'm supposed to go up there. Oh, I get it. All right. I thought I had three out of three pieces. That ain't no make no sense. So we gotta find the last piece and climb up there. Huh. Interesting. This door will not work. Yep. Alright. A few days ago, one of my local children went missing. Her body was never found. Was found. Twisted and ripped open with river this morning. Everyone else thinks this must have been some kind of animal did it. But I know what really happened. I did it! Ah! Rah, 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 rah. Uh, oh, there you are. Quite splendid. We're on a roll today. Uh, leverage. Pfft. Pfft. Hello. Hello, Chaz. Lovely weather. Lovely sky. Everything is just beautiful. Alright, let's put you there. There. Can I combine these? No? Why would I need just a bunch of parts of a ladder? It looks so perfect there. Like, where am I supposed to click? Hmm. That don't make no sense. We got the ladder. That should be the difficult part. Maybe to go down somewhere. What? I was supposed to ya What in the hell? What am I doing wrong, bros? What? What am I doing wrong? What? I heard something. What? How did you get up there, Rupert? Who named you Rupert anyway? <laughs> yes! <laughs> now it worked. I tried this forever. It took me forever to do that. I mean, uh, pff, it took me like pff, two seconds because pff, <clears throat> I'm a genius and uh, I didn't cheat either. Pff, I don't need to cheat. Cheating is for losers. Do I look like a loser to you? Huh? Well, find that. If you want to be rude, why why don't you just 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 can't, I can't be angry at you. You're just too beautiful. God damn it! I know it's not that I moved my heartbeat sensor while while I was getting scared. So pot. Whoa, pot! I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to throw you out the window. That would have been crazy. I can't leave yet. I need to find what's going on. What do you think about that, Jesus? I don't know. Touch my nipples, maybe. Why do you always want that? Why do you always want me to touch? That's really gay. Nothing wrong with the game being gay, Pedi. Okay. Well, I actually agree with you. I'm glad you think so, Pedi. I squeezed them. Just a little squeeze. It won't hurt anyone, will it, Pedi? Sorry, Jesus. Maybe later. I'm busy now. I'll be waiting for you, Pedi. Good. I guess we just gotta look around and lit a candle. I don't have any fucking tinder boxes. How about that? How about that? Pot, go and say hello to your friend. No pity, I love you! <laughs> you are. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's just the wind. Just the wind. What happened here? What happened here? What did you do? Huh? Whoa! Joe! What is going on here? Carpet, it was you all along, wasn't it? Yeah, bitch. Fucking paintings, man. Alright. Funny how fucking carpets get. Javlar, what fun? Okay. Dear Anne, hopefully I will come back. I will be back home before you receive this letter. However, I felt inclined to write to you as we never shared proper goodbyes. I should inform you that Crescent Village is actually quite nice. It's a quite little place, and people seem to keep themselves here. The inn I'm staying is is pleasant, and the man who runs it is friendly. Plender. To be honest, though, I don't like it here. Lately, there's been a sense of dread lingering in the air. I feel like something terrible is gonna happen. I've been trying to ignore it, but it's been keeping me up all n at night. This is, could just be paranoia, but Crescent Village is, has been giving me a sinister, uncomfortable vibe ever since I arrived. Even when I'm alone, I feel as if I'm being watched. Again, maybe it's just me. After all, it's not used to trap. I'm not used to traveling either way. I am looking forward to leaving this village and seeing you again. Sincerely, dear Sister Margaret. I'm really terrible at reading. I wish I was better, honestly. Um, but hey, 
I love how never, ever, ever in a in a horror video, video, movie, game, whatever horror story, have the character been wrong about being paranoid? Hey, Pids, it's time. I waited a long time. I'm sick of waiting. Just squeeze them already. Sorry, Jesus. You will have to wait. God damn it. Well, your nipple squeezing will be worth it. I shall wait forever if I have to. Show me the way, Jesus. Oh, thank you. I think this should go to one of the houses. Welcome. I apologize for not being able to be here on your first day. But at the moment we have only one customer staying in the inn. Her name is Margaret and she should be fine for a while. All you need to do is serve her and local any locals that might stop by. My office is next door to this room and it's usually open. So if so, for some reason you need something from there, you're free to enter as you please. One last thing. If you run out of beer, there's a keg in the cellar. However, the cellar must remain locked at all times. Whenever you're down there, I advise you leave quickly and make sure you lock the door behind you. I don't say this lightly. The key is included in this mansion. Best of luck, Arthur. Fuck. Who would have thought it would be so difficult to just get some beer? Looks like we're going to the cellar, Jesus. Love the cellar. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm scared, pills. Squeeze my nipples quickly. Fuck that. Whoa! They really barricaded that door for a reason. That is fucking creepy, man. Giving me the the heat creepers. I don't like that. The question is, should we unblock the door to go out? Or should we go to the cellar? I think we should look for the cellar, honestly. Whoa! La da 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 Perfect. Don't think, Pets, I really don't want to go with you. I really don't. Well, you ain't got no choice, bitch! Heh <laughs> Alright. Not a barrels, not a good sign, but hey, it looks like we'll have to go anyway. Alright, nice and easy, Pets. But you do not want to fuck with these people down here. Where is the beer? Where is it? Hey, I told you to open. I told you to open. <laughs> Fucking doors, man. Jesus. What? What was it, Pitty? Ah, not you. Hey, where did you go? Jesus. No. No. <laughs> well. Fuck. Don't worry, my pits. Come back to me, okay? Okay, I will. Hey, a crowbar. We could use that. Oh, we used that on the outside thing or whatever the fuck. Genius Pilds performs again. Now, we went here for the beer, didn't we? I guess we didn't really do it for the beer. Oh, well. Let's go. Unless there's something I missed. Nope. Alright. Home it is. Lock in the door. The question is, should I remove these or not? I don't I don't think they're Oh I can, okay, cool, let's do it. Bah! 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 There we go. It won't open. Fuck. Alright, we'll go through the window then. Jesus! Why does it pay it? Oh shit, I forgot about him. <laughs> I bet he's waiting there for me. All luscious and beautiful. Pitch! Oh yeah. Alright, you're coming with me. And Geronimo! I need to find out what's going on. What? I got the crowbar. I can't go? Well, shit. I guess I missed something. What did I miss, though? What did Pilds miss? Well, we didn't go in here, did we? Uh, what about the crowbar? Oh, that worked. Yes! Yeah, That's right, motherfuckers. Hopefully now we'll find out what's going on. I finally... They finally come for me. Now I barricaded the front door and locked myself in the office. I can hear them outside, trying to find a way in. There is no escape. This is the end. I write this as a hope, in hopes that someday, someone will find this and know the true story of Crescent Village. I don't know how much, as my job always been simple. I was to bring outsider into the village and stay in at my inn. 
the communion would then come to them take, to take them away and they were never seen again. This has been happening for years now and I never questioned it. If I refused, they would have killed me along with the rest. However, their most recent abduction was very messy and I witnessed it. They, the way they killed Margaret, it was awful. I can't take this anymore. I officially closed the end and now the communion is coming for me too. I'm going to hide in the closet. I don't know what's gonna happen to me, but... Is that the door behind me? Ah! <sighs> 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 oh, my bitch. They fucking said no jump scares. Those little fuckers. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Ow. I, I, both my legs just BAM right in bed then. Oh fuck me man. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. That was fun. Ah. Oh. Fuck that bitch. Privilege of uh, playing half the game. Uh, by myself. And oh shit! Unless I die. No! You cornered me. No! I'm not. I'm funny. Hell, bad dad.